can I just say that I feel significantly weird starting a vlog at night laying in my bed. Normally I'm like, good morning YouTube, or good morning everybody, but <laughs> here I am laying in bed starting my vlog for tomorrow. There's a reason for this. I was just about to input all my food in my fitness pal, and I kind of realized it's probably a good idea to show you how I go about doing that. I can show you guys uh, vlogs of full days of eating all I want, but a lot of the time the issues that you guys come to me with have to do with inputting your own food into my fitness pal and creating meals and understanding how to go about creating those meals and making meal one, two, three, four, five, um, or whatever amount of meals that you're doing and organizing them in a way that works for you and for your macros. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I input my food into my fitness pal. I'll be showing you guys the screen, but I'll be talking um, to you guys while I'm inputting my food. Just a couple of things that are important to know when you're starting to plan your day. Um, I always try to plan my day based off of my foundation meals. When I go through and create my meals, it might take me a little bit more, less time than it would take you to figure out your meals, especially if you're first starting. I've been doing this for two years now and I know which meals give me the most bang for my buck, um, which meals work for me and work for my macros and what meals I really really like eating and can't go a day without. If you follow me on Snapchat you know that I usually have waffles in the morning, I like to have protein um, oatmeal and I like to have a huge salad, I like to have some other sort of meal with like a vegetable in it, maybe spaghetti squash, and I always have my smoothie bowl at night. So those are kind of like what I base my meals off of and they might just vary slightly throughout the week um, depending on what I have in the pantry, what I really want to eat, um, if I'm craving something or I know I want to eat something the next day, I plan that ahead first. So I'll input that first. For example, tomorrow I'm um, going to be eating an Oreo. I just went to go visit Emily Hayden if you haven't followed her channel yet. Emily Hayden Fitness, she has a really, really awesome channel. Um, she has a lot of good stuff for macro tracking beginners, so go check out her channel. Um, I just went to go visit her and she gave me a gingerbread cookie Oreo. So I'm eating that tomorrow. Tomorrow is my high carb day, so I'm sitting here planning everything and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do. All right. That's my code for anybody who's wondering. Okay. So if I go to tomorrow, let's see how well we can focus here. Let's, hopefully we can keep this focused. So I always track my supplements, mostly just so I can kind of show you guys. I have them saved in a meal here. So I have a multivitamin, digestive enzyme, creatine, high volume, alpha amine, amino IV. And I also take a fish oil, which I have to start tracking. Again, I will show you all of this in the morning when I actually do it tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and like just add things and explain to you why I'm adding them and how I'm putting them together. And then tomorrow, when I do a full day of eating, I'll show you how I make everything. So I know that tomorrow I'm gonna wanna eat that Oreo. I'll probably crumble it over my waffles in the morning. All right, let's figure out where to find that Oreo. Ginger, ginger bread Oreo. And if I had the package for this, I would just go ahead and scan it on the barcode up here. You can scan something if it has a barcode. Um, so limited edition, bleh, limited edition gingerbread Oreo. I'm gonna have one cookie. So that's gonna be 3.5 fat, 10 carb, zero protein for one single Oreo. And it's my high carb day, so that is a-okay with me. I always have my waffles in the morning, so tomorrow I'll probably do um, a snickerdoodle, PE science flavor, that's my fave. Sorry Instagram, not today. Um, snickerdoodle protein, sometimes I'll do half a serving, but tomorrow, Actually, no, I'm gonna do half a serving tomorrow, so you can do that if you want. You can do half of a serving. 
And then I like doing, let's see. Um, usually my fitness pal will save all of the food that you normally eat and you can kind of just click on it, especially if you have something um, with the same meal every day. So I'll track a half a cup of cashew milk because I have that in my coffee. And then I like adding PB, nope, what is it? P28. White chocolate pancake mix. And yesterday, or today, I did three quarters of a serving, and today, tomorrow I'll probably do half, just because I didn't really need that. I'll do one egg white for the pancakes, and I'll call that a day. And that'll be my first meal. So I focus on the protein. Um, this is what I've been eating every single morning for a while now, so it's very easy for me to input, but um, otherwise, I know that I'm going to be having a salad and I have a ton of chicken cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, probably three ounces of grilled chicken. Um, this meal, meal three for me, is usually almost always a salad. So I'm going to go ahead and do my honey mustard, which is the dressing that I use. I'll show you tomorrow. I have tomatoes. Um, I'll probably have sweet potatoes tomorrow because it's a high carb day. Um, and then I'm going to do an egg and I will show you guys why tomorrow. And then I have spring mix. I'll do a full serving of spring mix. And I think that's all I have for vegetables that I need. So there's that. That's tracked. Vegetables are added in there. I know I always, always, always have a smoothie bowl at night. So again, I'm gonna add that in, and uh, I'm focusing my meals around my protein, guys. So I think getting uh, 30 grams of oatmeal is plenty, as long as I pair it with cauliflower. That's why I do the cauliflower, just because you get more bang for your buck. So if you blend up the cauliflower, I'll show you tomorrow. You don't have to do a full serving of oatmeal to get um, all of the bites you would normally get. I like mixing in an egg white in there and what else do we got? Yes, today I did blueberries and I really liked adding the blueberries to my pre-workout meal because they're just more carbs and not a whole lot of fat. Um, this serving size is actually about 35 grams if you're curious and I'll show you again tomorrow. So I have that and I have this salad meal. Something in between is usually confusing but I do have a Fitzy Foods meal that I want to eat tomorrow. This turkey and green chili quesadilla. It's a pretty calorie dense meal but I, I uh, can't really have it on my low carb days at this point anymore, so I'm going to fit that in tomorrow. It's a little higher on the fat side than I am used to, so I have to keep my fats lower the rest of the day. So, with all these, and I haven't added like toppings or extras or anything yet, I just kind of did the basics. Let's see what I have. So just to quickly preface this, I forgot to mention what my goals that I'm trying to hit for tomorrow are. Um, I'm trying to hit 125 grams of protein, 38 grams of fat, and 180 grams of carbs. So let's see what I have available left. And it looks like I have about 10 grams of protein. Oh, I also set my calorie goals to zero, just because it's really annoying to try to input um, your goal numbers as to be the perfect numbers in my fitness pal so I set my calories to zero and just hit my totals so uh, I have about 10 protein left to hit I have a plenty of carbs left to hit I have uh, my fiber is like really really good for the day and I still have plenty of carbs to get that fiber number a little higher and my fat is already right around where I need it to be I have like two grams left so so where can we add? We are going to add right here. We're gonna do some cereal because I can. What do we got? Mm, sprinkled donut crunch sounds pretty good for tomorrow. Th sprinkle, that's not how you spell sprinkle. Sprinkle donut crunch. 
Hmm. Can probably do way more than that there. Not 13. Okay. I love how cereal is super low in fat, so I can do that and keep that for my last meal. That's perfect for a last meal, for a post-workout meal. Post-workout and pre-workout, I usually tend to keep pretty uh, higher carb and lower fat because fat doesn't really aid in either of the processes that occur before or after. So my pre- and post-workout meals, which are going to be four and five tomorrow, um, always going to be higher uh, in carbs, lower in fat. Um, we can probably add a little bit of oatmeal here, actually. Maybe I'll do a full serving. Let's do that. Oh, I'm going to sprinkle a pizzelle in there, too. I showed you guys what these are. Nope, not that. I showed you guys what these are in my last grocery haul vlog. One fat, 3.2 carbs. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and make myself eat only three quarters of this meal because my fat is not going to get hit eating this whole thing. That'll work. I usually, if I do this, um, I don't do this very often, but I'll just like throw the rest away or something. And I can probably add more to this meal. Let's see what we can do. 35, 153, 112. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add um, some peanut butter cup protein to this meal. Let's do 0.3 because that's going to give me, hmm, let's probably do 0.5. Let's see here. 123. All right, I'm two under on protein about... 25 under on carbs and like three under on fat. So I basically just have to find somewhere to put more carbs. Isn't that nice when you have more carbs to fill for the end of the day? So I'm probably just gonna like go ahead and see how I feel tomorrow and figure out those last like 25 grams of carbs on my own. Um, but I hope that kind of like helped explain certain things to you guys on how to go about like preparing your meals. Um, just a couple of things to like recap. Plan protein ahead, um, plan protein in every meal. Make sure your pre and post workout meals are lower in fat, higher in carbs. Make sure they have protein in them. Plan your treats ahead of time. So I made sure I put in that Oreo first thing so I, cause I knew I was having that tomorrow. Um, what else? And then I would go ahead and like try to plan your carbs dead last just because carbs are the easiest thing to overeat. So if you make sure that you're getting in all of your vegetables, um, servings of fruit, vegetables, servings of whole grains, servings of complex carbs, servings of carbs with fiber in them, first and foremost, then you can go ahead and add the cereal if you have the room to add it. Or um, for me, I have like 25 grams of carbs tomorrow. I could do like half of those, an extra serving of veggies in my salad, or I can do all of them like another serving of cereal if I feel like it. Um, my fibers hit pretty well. Make sure you're eating 15 grams of fiber per every thousand calories that you eat. That's like a general recommendation. So my fiber is probably good to go around 20 to 25. I try to keep it like right at, right at that range. Um, and tomorrow when I film all my food for you guys, I may or may not be putting it in this particular video, but it might be too long to film a full day of eating plus having this in there. So if this is the only video that you guys see in this particular vlog, look forward to food for tomorrow, um, food that I'm going to make tomorrow. So the next vlog that you see will be my full day of eating, making all of this stuff tomorrow. So um, if this is the end of the video, which very well might be because I've been like talking and rambling a lot, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you liked this in the comments because I can do this far more often for you guys if you find it helpful. So let me know. Give it a thumbs up if you did find it helpful, um, if you did like it, if you like my nighttime no makeup face. It's really nice to have these lashes because I don't have to look like a zombie without makeup on. <laughs> so 
Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all watch till the end and listen to my ramble and my rant at the end of the night. So, thank you guys. Just take the zucchini and put it in here. Stick it in the hole. And you just kind of like turn it and it comes out like so.